Hello, this is Fortune Hunter, and welcome back to yet yeah, uh, another Pokemon video. Today we've got a Kiram raid guide, so let's jump right in. <laughs> Alright guys, let's dive right in and start with the 100% CPs for Kiram, and that will be 2042 and 2553. As for the moveset with Kiram, it's honestly not that scary at all. It's got a dragon and a steel move as its fast moves, dragon breath and steel wing. But when you think about it, most of the top counters are fighting and steel types against Kiram because it is a dragon ice type. Yes, it does get stab on the dragon and ice moves, but usually things are not going to do too much damage. First charge moves, it also has Blizzard, Dragon Claw, and Draco Meteor. The only thing I would watch out of is Rock types with the uh, Steel Wing and then also Right Barrier because it was ground typing with the Blizzard. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go into the top 8 counters against Kiram, and that will be number 1, Shadow Metagross with Bullet Punch and Meteor Mash, the legacy move. Number two will just be normal Metagross with Bullet Punch and Meteor Mash. Number three actually surprised me here. It's Smackdown Secret Sword Terrakion. Guess I should have gotten a couple more of those. Uh, number four will be Shadow Machamp with the counter Dynamic Punch is known for. Lucario will come in at number five with counter and Aura Sphere. Number six will be another Shadow, Shadow Harry Ama with counter and Dynamic Punch. Number seven, Shadow Tyranitar with Smackdown and Stone Edge Legacy moves there. Conkledur will come in at number 8 with, again, very common counter and dynamic punch. Now, if you weren't able to use any of those counters and you're more of a newer player, well, I've got a couple counters for you here. So number one is Metagross with Bull Punch and Meteor Mash. If you played Beldum Spotlight Hour a couple days ago, hopefully that was really helpful for you to get a good Metagross. Flash Cannon will work as well, it's just Meteor Mash is better. As for Lucario, hopefully you're able to play that Sinnoh event where Ryalu was hatching from eggs, and Counter Aura Sphere is not legacy in any way, so that'll help you out a lot. Also, hopefully you're able to raid some of the Timbers that have been out lately, and get your Counter Dynamic Punch Conqueror, maybe find a friend to trade with to save you all those candies. Number 4 is Right Barrier with Smackdown and Rock Wrecker. That one's going to be a lot higher, harder to acquire, but maybe you're able to get one. Number 5 is Counter Dynamic Punch with Champ. And that one, a little bit harder right now, but if you played Machop Community Day, hopefully that helps you out. Also keep in mind that Machop will be in December's Community Day, coming right up. Number 6 will be Mega Gyarados. Probably can't acquire that one if you're a newer player. If you've played for a little bit, maybe you did the research for it. Number 7 is Mega Charizard, which might be really hard for you to get the energy right now, unfortunately if you're newer. Number 8 will be Escadrill, which again might be a little bit harder to acquire right now with the Metal Claw and Iron Head. So I had to aim for if you could have Beldum and Ryolu and maybe some Timbers. Uh, definitely Machamp if you can. So I would stick to those ones guys and good luck. Alright guys, well that's all I've got for today. Normally I go over the catch rate which it's normally 16% with a Golden Raz, a Curveball Excellent and gold medals, something like that. Uh, I did want to inform you that it can be shiny. Kiram can be shiny now, which is super duper exciting and the reason I'll be rating it. Uh, so watch out for that. There's rumors about black and white Kiram, so we'll have to see where that goes, guys. And uh, good luck rating out there. Thanks for watching.